Hey, this is Jack here with The Hobby, and welcome to an opening of a Costco bundle. We have the uh, collector's chest plus the pencil case. I'm just to show you guys the uh, item number here and the UPC. Um, same thing on this side, and I think if we lift this thing up, uh, you'll see it there as well. So uh, if you have that same item number, uh, you can be relatively sure you're getting the same thing. So this was double boxed and sent to me exactly like this in the mail. I didn't buy this from the store. This was on Costco.com. This cost me $23. If I bought it in stores, I think it was only $20, but I uh, wanted to get it shipped to me so I can see what the, the package and everything would look like. And as of now, I think this is sold out uh, online at least, but it might still be in some stores. So yeah, check your uh, local Costco's and see if you can find this. So uh, yeah, our goal today is to uh, figure out what packs are in this and if this is uh, worth buying or not. All right, so it's really the uh, perfect fit for this thing. So we have ourselves a lunchbox there and then a 10 here. So lunchbox and a 10, and then just to see what it looks like on each side. It's just the uh, the two pack here, and then on the back we have. All right, so get ready for class and the treasure chest pack with Pokemon. So this would be the pencil box, comes with two booster packs, and then over here we have the chest, five booster packs. Yep, and then this is the item number again. If you want to ever compare, let's make sure you're getting the same thing here, and then yeah. So we have both this guy, and then up here we have the uh, pencil box. So let me get this uh, this unwrapped. So this is a, uh, a ton of packaging for these two things. We had a big outer box, we had shrink wrap, and now there's an inner box, and then there's all this stuff. Let's see, there's, okay, there's nothing in there. So the purpose of this piece is just to push out the pencil box. Yeah, this is just purely an empty cardboard box. Ah, what a waste. All right, let's take a look at the actual lunchbox in here, packed with Pokemon treasures. Okay, so you get a couple promos, you get some cool stuff in here. We'll take a look at all of that in a second. Here's more around the contents. This is a good look at what the back looks like. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And then here is a look at the back for the bottom and uh, the top. All right, and then let's take a look at the pencil case. Uh, I've been really curious about this. I like finding um, new ways, new things to uh, put other things in. So I like storage containers. I'm gonna be really looking for what I can uh, use this for. So I'm pretty excited about that. Put this to good use. And then here's the back here. And get ready for class, love it. Back to school pencil case. All right, and then just to see that's the UPC there, and uh, cool. I'm gonna get both of these unboxed, uh, and I'll see you back here uh, in a second. All right, and we are back. So we'll start with this pencil case, just cause it's a smaller one. Let's open it up, see what we get. We'll take all of the uh, packs out and then we'll uh, open them all together. So this is what the pencil case looks like. Uh, super cool art. I uh, really like this. Really like this pencil case. The big Pikachu and then we got the starters back there. So let's open this thing up. Yeah, most likely this did not sell super well or else it wouldn't be in here. So we have Astro and a, hey, we have an Evolving Skies. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I would use this for. Damage counters dies. It would bang around a lot in here, so um, yeah, once I figure it out, I'll make sure to let you all know, but pretty well made and uh, very cool looking. We'll just sit this in the back here, and then let's take a look at this. I think we've opened up a couple of these before. My favorite one by far was the uh, Celebrations one, and so let's take a quick look here. Beautiful promos. And I guess maybe one of their commonalities is that they have these cool attacks that don't use any energy. That's what that means. You can use it with zero energy attached. A lot of people think it's a misprint, but it just means that no energies are required. Okay, so uh, those are our three promos here. <laughs> those may be the best as we get all day. All right, pack wise, we have two packs of Silver Tempest. One pack of Fusion Strike, Astro, Astro. So it's Astro, Astro. Okay, got it, got it. Um, and then let me get this for you. 
So that unlocks all three of the promos back there. So we'll put that along with the promos back there. And then take a look here. So I know there's some stickers. Yep, here's the sticker sheets. Woo, so many stickers. Uh, these are pretty well-made stickers too. We have Palkia, we have all the... Okay, so these are back again to the uh, swing promos that we just saw there. Yeah, Diago, Palkia, and then the three swings. We'll stick these behind here. Uh, here's a notebook. There's always a notepad or a notebook. I think previously they did notepads, but uh, this time they have a notebook, which is cool. This is another great... Uh, this is just a great overall pack for uh, kids who are going back to school. And then we have this mini portfolio, fits maybe like 20 or so cards. Yep, and the same artwork and the same Pokemon again uh, for this one. All right, and uh, let's take a look at what else is in here and it is empty. So there's just a plastic thing here that you can take out. And then you have one of the uh, coolest uh, lunchbox containers uh, in the world. A lot of times I use these to hold things like damage counter dice, coins, etc. These are absolutely great for that. If you have a couple of different things that you want to bring, like a couple of different decks, this is also great for holding that. So like, for example, you know, here's one of my deck boxes, you know, fits really well in here. You can, you know, fit a couple of them actually. Here's um, another boxes and then it fits in here as well. So it's almost the perfect size. And I think they made it that way to fit um, decks and then because it can fit you know two decks like this you can use this area for storing damage counters and all the other stuff you need to play so if you ever go to play all you have to do is carry this one little thing with you and you're good to go um, i know kids also love this so this is the perfect back to school complement for kids as well where you have both the pencil box and the lunch box food and studies so now let's take a look at all packs we actually have so again one fusion strike two silver tempest one two three astral and one evolving skies so you get all of these packs for again right around 20 to 23 dollars depending if you're buying it online or in stores yeah so it's a pretty good deal evolving skies right now is going for about seven dollars a pack so the rest of these it's pretty much like getting the rest of these for 15 dollars and it's one two three four five six packs for 15 dollars uh, I'd say that's a pretty good deal, about $2.50 each. So, all right, so let's see. We'll open these like this. Uh, we'll start with the Astros, since there's three of those. Then we'll move to the Silver Tempest, Fusion Strike, and uh, an Evolving Skies. Yeah, let's get cracking. Starting off with the Astro Radiance. Code card here, and then one, two, three, four. Ooh, energy. Starting it off with the uh, Conda artwork, Whiskash. Just like the Magic Harp and the Giratina V Alt Art. Beautiful looking art. Sweet Honey, Oshawott, Hutoot, Ponyard, Puchiana. Got the Thievo Reverse and a Reggie Drago, non hollow. Go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and this is just not a great long term hold. Um, mainly because it takes up a lot of space for this lunchbox and pencil case combo. It's just a very big, ooh, that's pretty pumped huh? It's just a very big box for, uh, what is it, seven packs? Um, not really worth it. Uh, and the promos aren't amazing. Like the, uh, there was one test tube Mewtwo that was an absolutely, we got our Swing Samurott. So uh, another, nothing in that one. Code card. Yeah, like I was saying, the uh, Test Tube Mewtwo was a pretty awesome promo, um, just because we never saw anything else like it, uh, and it was uh, definitely a full art and really cool. These guys, on the other hand, are, are not really near that level, so very few reasons to keep this sealed. I think this is a great product just to pop open, open up some packs for the cheap spicy seasoned curry ooh, ooh, and a origin form palkia v pretty meta card although they released a, uh, a league deck for palkia v so it's not worth nearly as much as it used to be for competitive purposes but still pretty cool completely forgot to take out our uh, trusty little tab sleeves so let's go ahead and sleeve that palkia v up look at that palkia v on a palkia v box it was meant to be and then next up we have a uh, silver tempest the code card. So really cool thing about uh, these lunch boxes. Uh, apparently there were some of them that have guaranteed hits. Mm. So they misplaced the hits and they uh, put them all inside the lunch boxes. 
Those, though, I think we need to have full cases. I don't think any of these Costco ones are like that. For example, Talonflame. Not a, uh, not a great pull. But it was super interesting watching all of the YouTubers trying to get their hands on cases and cases of these just to see if they can pull these, like, God Pack Silver Tempest packs. Nine tails, sleepy camo, chow, barrel seed. Ooh, very cool Pikachu. We got Ponyta, Nat. Hey, Radiant Jirachi. We got ourselves a double hitter. Radiant Jirachi and Arcanine V. All right, let's get these two sleeved up as well. That one there, and then we'll grab one more for this got three hits and uh, five packs. So off to a uh, somewhat good start, but these are the two that matter because we have some really cool psychic alt arts in this one and we have all the evolutions in this one. So let's see what we can do. This. Yeah, I really like opening up uh, Costco things because uh, you never have to worry about them being resealed or anything crazy like that. Um, you know, they come factory fresh they almost have too much plastic and packaging around it Ooh, there's something back there appleton v definitely not uh one of the best hits but we'll take it and then evolving skies here's our uh, code card one two three four all right moment of truth can we get something good? Herdier, C dot, Pika, Tentacool, Fledgling, Hitmonchan, Tentacruel, ooh, and uh, hey, Appleton to go with our Appleton V. All right, so uh, yeah, here's all of our hits. We got ourselves the Appleton V, the Palkia V, the Radiant Jirachi, and the Arcanine V, and then we have the promos here. So did I get $20 worth of value here? Definitely not. I think I probably got to like maybe five dollars worth of value, but then you get all the extras like the lunchbox, that pencil tin. So maybe you're looking at like it's about ten dollars worth of value for a twenty dollar product. So worth it? Not really, but hey, it was a fun opening experience. I hope you now know what packs are inside, so you can make a decision on whether or not this is a product you want to buy. I mean, yeah, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll uh, see you guys next time.